Good morning, scholars and staff. Welcome to MB News. I am your host, Ms. Moreno. Bienvenidos a todos de la comunidad de Montevela. Yo soy la señora Moreno. Guess what, scholars? We did it. We made it to winter break. Um, please remember to stay safe. I do want you to relax, but the most important thing is that we stay safe. I also want to congratulate the students from Baile Florcorico. They did a performance, a virtual performance last night, and it was amazing watching you perform. Hi, Maestra. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for, you know, parents for their support. Uh, definitely, we couldn't do this without you. I know that it was a challenge, you know, teaching virtually. And it's not the same thing. Believe me, I, I feel it. I see it. But somehow, some way, all the students were able to hang in there. And, mira, it was worth the wait. And so back in March and April, when, you know, they kept telling us it couldn't be done and it couldn't be done, somehow, some way, we finished, you know, we managed to find a way. And here we are. And today's performance just, you know, put us up on the top. So we were one of the first groups that we were, you know, doing this virtually. And so we kind of set the El Camino for the rest. And so I'm very proud of every effort that we make. I know it's a struggle, a challenge, and wonderful people are sacrificing, you know, working around their schedules. And for, for example, La Maestra Ilse, she's going to school, but somehow, some way, she makes it work and, and her students love her and she loves her students. And so I'm just so happy, Mija. I'm, I feel so proud to be part of this organization, especially when we have the tremendous support from Ms. Fletcher. You know, believe it or not, is everybody has their hands full, pero you know, todos hemos un granito de arena and we're impacting the lives of our students. And I get teary eye every time I think about this. I mean, I'm getting emotional right now, pero I love what I do. And I just love to see students, you know, super that excitement and planting that seed of our, 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 our culture, our traditions. La musica, el vestuario is something so beautiful that I don't even have the exact words to express how I feel. And so I'm thankful to all the instructors. Thank you, Ilse. And thank you, Maestras, you know, parents, like I said, and, you know, we couldn't do this without you guys. And it's just a beautiful feeling that I have inside right now, watching all these students perform. I'm like Rosario said, Ms. Delgadillo said, um, I'm really proud of my students. Like, I was, re I'm really impressed from all their effort and how disciplined they are, how even though it's from their home, they still have that accountability to like to log in. And if I tell them to like move their cameras, they're willing to. And I'm just really proud of them. And it, it's a it's a it's a great feeling seeing it like the, the whole um, the end results and how how much they grown from like the very beginning to now. And um, like how Ms. Delgadillo stated, like we plant this beautiful seed in them, how um, our culture and and how Ms. Delgadillo was getting teary. I was getting teary too during while they were performing. Um, but yeah, and thank you to all of the support, Ms. Delgadillo. Um, se luce con su, with her, all her tremendous support, Ms. Alvarez, Ms. Fletcher, um, to Mr. Mr. Silva as well. They're, they're definitely a great support system in this. And I'm, I'm really glad that I get to do this as my job. And it's just really rewarding, and I, I love it. And I'll, and I'll continue with this. Now moving on to Eric. Thank you, Ms. Moreno. Yesterday, we had our November PBIS goodie bag drive through Congratulations to all the students who received a prize bag and to the raffle winners. Here is Ms. Crampton with the raffle winners. Thank you, Ms. Crapton. Now moving on with Haiti. Migrants, okay. Thank you, Eric. I'm proud to announce that 52 students from the Alisal District completed in this year's Migrants Speech and Debate Competition. I am I am proud to announce Rosalinda from Montebella received fourth place in this competition. Here's a clip from her speech. 
According to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, also known as the CDC, reported that 13.6 million people tested positive for coronavirus in the U.S. since March 2020. Rosalinda, you make us all proud. Now moving on to Susana with Span Noticias. Los conserjes son increíbles porque trabajan muy duro. Son las personas que mantienen limpia nuestra escuela. No se quejan y lo hacen con cariño. Los conserjes son trabajadores y raramente se les reconoce. Es el, se les reconoce el importante puesto que tienen en las escuelas. Hoy tengo el honor de entrevistar a nuestros tres custodios extraordinarios. Nuestro primer invitado es Pedro Reyes. <risa> ¿Cuál es la parte más difícil de ser un trabajador esencial? Creo que no es, no es tan difícil cuando, cuando lo que uno hace um, le gusta. Y a mí me encanta mi trabajo. ¿Qué es lo que más extraña de, de tener estudiantes en la escuela? Que no tengo a quién regañar. No, estoy jugando. No, los extra, extraño su ruido, extraño... Extraño sus sonrisas, los extraño a todos. Y finalmente, ¿hay algo que a ustedes les gustaría decirle a los estudiantes? Um, que se cuiden mucho, porque esta pandemia es, es, es muy seria. Lo mejor que podemos es cuidarnos nosotros mismos, y al cuidarnos nosotros mismos, cuidamos a los demás. Gracias por su tiempo, por estar aquí y contestar estas preguntas. ¡Los extraño mucho! <risa> y Pedro, no más quiero decir de parte de, de la familia de Montedea, gracias por todo que haces cada día para todos. Y gracias. Pedro. <risa> gracias. gracias. Nuestro segundo invitado es Samuel. ¿Cuál es la parte más difícil de ser un trabajador esencial? Pues uh, estar batallando con la pandemia y tratar de cuidarnos, uh, cuidar a uh, los compañeros y, y pues mantener la escuela lo más sana que se pueda. ¿Qué es lo que más extrañas de tener estudiantes en la escuela? Oh, extraño a todos los estudiantes. Este, la, la, la alegría que traen a la escuela, este, eso lo extrañamos bastante. Cuando juegan soccer, básquetbol, todo eso es parte que extrañamos de los niños. ¿Hay, allí que, ¿Hay algo que a usted le gustaría decirle a los estudiantes? Que se cuiden lo más que puedan, porque la enfermedad todavía está este, activa. Este, ahorita tengo un hermano de mi mamá y un sobrino entubados, y es muy difícil. Este, estamos poco tristes por eso y espero que todos nos cuidemos para seguir adelante y que regresen pronto los niños a la escuela. Don Samuel, queremos decir que estamos muy agradecidos por todo lo que haces todos los días por nosotros y gracias por tu dedicación y pasión por su trabajo que haces de parte de todos. Sí, yo también agradezco, le agradezco a usted, los maestros, la paciencia que nos tienen también, porque en veces es difícil atenderlos a todos a un tiempo, pero estamos para servirles a los niños y a los maestros y a usted también, este, señora directora. Gracias. Sí, gracias. Y adiós, 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 Samuel. Adiós, niños, aquí los esperamos. <risa> adiós. Ahora con el, con los sobres, con el mensaje de la directora. Thank you, Susana. Happy holidays. Yes, we made it. We're the last day of school before vacation. How do you guys feel? Shayla, how do you feel? I am proud because we made it to the last day of um, school. We're going to have our vacations to have um, a break from school so we can have a break. Susana, so how do you feel about going on winter break? It feels good because we're finally we're finally gonna spend time with our family on Christmas, and we're gonna have we're also gonna have um well also twenty twenty is almost gonna end. Nice, Heidi. How do you feel? I feel good. 
at the beginning I didn't read. But now I have started to read a lot more. I'm almost to 100,000 words. And That's awesome. And Anera? I am happy to be with all of my classmates on everyone's free time and that's all that's great congratulations that um you're being res um, responsible in reading more i think that that's going to help you in the future so continue um growing in that and eric how about you how do you feel i feel great because it, these are the final days of school no not the final days of school but um it feels like it and we're, and we're going to winter break and on, on while we're on winter break it's going to be a new year um i put a quote here it says may your holidays sparkle with moments of love laughter and goodwill and may the year ahead be full of content contentment and joy have a happy holiday so i'd like to congratulate our scholars of the month for december it was very cool to see all of you come and receive your your certificates and also your banners that you could put outside of your house um, be proud and they also got a special mask that says montevella on it so they were really excited to receive that also we had the best time yesterday for those of you that attended our pto meeting we had a cookie decorating we had loteria and we also had a scavenger hunt um, with Mrs. Chidas, and it was so fun. So you guys ready for my riddles? So here we go. Why do mummies like Christmas so much? Because they're wrapped up presents. <laughs> it's very close because of all the wrapping, get it? <laughs> okay, next one. What does a snowman like to eat for breakfast? Carrots. Ice. Frosted flakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I have one last one for the end of this year. What do you tell someone you didn't talk to on New Year's Eve? Nothing, because you didn't talk to them. I haven't talked to you since last year. <laughs> ba -da -ba -bum. So we will be back on january 12th 2021 you might be asking that's on a tuesday why aren't we coming back on monday well teachers will be back on monday because we have a professional development day on on january 11th and students will be returning back on january 12th all right scholars are you ready this is the last time we're going to do this for 2020 so everybody say it with me from MB News. Are you ready? Go. Go. Um. <laughs> Wait, are you are you didn't share your screen because they can't see us? I'm just gonna say moving on to Eric. <laughs> Receive fourth grade place. Oh wait, let me restart that. Rosalinda. You made us. Uh, oh, let me start down. Oh, we're still filming. I'll come right out. Miss Alvarez. Miss Alvarez. Are they coming back or? <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Bye. Take care.